Hey viewers, welcome to another game of the Casual Pro Gamer. Today we're doing the final countdown, which is today's daily challenge from Balloon Star Defense 5. And we are starting off with two one and zero blah blah ninja monkeys. So yeah, uh, pretty much not a whole lot to do. I do recommend going for one uh, boomerang monkey here instead of what I'm going to do. But yeah, you can also follow mine. It's it's all fine. It's just that I lost quite a few lives, about a hundred. I think 95. Um, I don't actually know. I played this one so many times and it takes, um, yeah, about 30 to 40 minutes to complete. So every time I failed, it cost me at least 20 minutes and that is just very sucky. Anyway, we're fast forwarding through this uh, first part very quickly because it's not very interesting. Uh, all you do is aim the mortar at that little corner in between the 12 and, uh, well, where it hooks off towards the one. Um, yeah, well, you can see it every now and then it pops up. There you see it. Anyhow, um, yeah, the thing is, you don't really have to do anything. So I kind of um, made the first four minutes or so super fast forward and then the last two minutes will be uh, a little bit slower at least it gives you the opportunity to see what i was doing so um yeah here i finally built my uh, my boomerang monkey should have had that well before this probably one ninja monkey at one and zero and then into the boomerang monkey boomerang monkey needs to be two and three that would be awesome but until you have that at this point, you're going to lose lives. And I lost quite a few, as you might have noticed. <laughs> but I think I'm going to level out at 55 and then actually gain control of this. But yeah, I'm not actually sure because, well, as I said, I played this quite a few times. And the last time uh, before I actually won, I almost got it, but then it just decided to screw me over and just crash and oh man that cost me 40 minutes just because i had to restart the well the whole blue star defense thingy and that takes about two minutes and then well of course the playthrough itself cost me about 38 minutes out of the 39 that this one cost me so yeah it was pretty close Anyhow, um, we are going to go for four and two uh, ninja monkeys, three of them. The third one is with the tech shooters. The tech shooters are going to be three and zero if you want to upgrade them further. Yeah, you might want to do that after you've kind of completed the rest of the upgrades because the rest of the upgrades not really that useful. So um, I do recommend going for the uh, four and two upgrade on the right uh, ninja monkey not on both of the left ones uh, because well basically the right one will allow you to pop the mob a little bit quicker which makes the mortar chase a little bit more efficient because you have to follow the balloons with the mortar the first time um, yeah I think now we're getting we're, we're, we're getting close to where it actually slows down a bit but as you can see uh, so far yeah, just following the mobs a little bit with the mortar, following the balloons a little bit, it's not really impressive. Um, what you want, uh, you want to have all two and four uh, boomerang monkeys, uh, four and two ninja monkeys, and then three and zero tech shooters. And of course we have the two and four uh, mortar and the mortar is going to chase around all of the balloons uh, every time you see an opportunity for your mortar to do something just place it there and then um, it should be fine keep in mind that you do have actives you have the actives uh, from the mortar which actually freezes the mobs in place which can be very useful and then uh, if you use one of the uh, boomerang monkeys uh, special abilities you can actually take a mob out with it pretty easily. So you only need to activate one, not multiples. You have three, so you should be able to take out four mobs with just the setup that you have here. And then after you cycle through all four of them, you will have to be very careful aiming and then it resets and you can do it again. If you don't pop your uh, boomerang monkeys too soon, so the special abilities, you should be able to 
kind of chain everything into the next because well you need about five of these boomerang monkeys to actually uh, continuously have one on and you have three so yeah seeing that you can also freeze the mobs in place you should be able to do it pretty easily I derped it up a little bit in the beginning, but well, it, it was fine. As you can see, I'm following the one mob that actually got pretty far in because I didn't have any specials left. And I'm going to follow this one as well. Not for any particular reason, but yeah, well, I had nothing better to do. Uh, keep in mind that the only one that can pop the camo lead balloons is the mortar. So you do want to chase those. And um, also keep in mind that the big mortar, so the 4 and 2 mortar, doesn't really do anything here. Anyhow, we win! Finally, after like two hours of playing, maybe even more. But yeah, uh, I, I needed to have this one. You get the point. Anyway, hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. GG!